Um, hosting county chorus is not one of my strong suits. Uh, but I'm happy to do it because the experience is really good for all of the kids and it's kind of fun to have it in our own building with our own things and um, there's there's a, an element of fun to it. Uh, I think they're going to do a great job. I think they, a lot of them are really excited about it and so I think it'll be a really good experience for them. I think they'll do well. Usually the kids come in and they're they're pretty excited and pretty ready because it's out of the norm and it's a cool experience for them. Um, I think the students like it. Uh, they seem like pretty fun pieces of music to do, um, but the guest conductors actually pick the music, so I have nothing to do with that. Um, so usually they pick some things that will be meaningful or fun or both. Great. What is your name? I'm Maya. What do you think of the songs that were picked for County Chorus this year? Um, I think there's a good blend of styles and tempos, and I think it goes really well together. How does it feel that this is your last county chorus? Um, it's definitely really sad because county chorus is a fun thing to be a part of, and there's so many different schools that get involved, and it's great to just sing to different people, but um, on the other hand, there's going to be more opportunities after this, so it's kind of bittersweet. Okay, since it's your last county chorus, how many people will be coming to, out to see you and who are they to you? Um, honestly not very many people, but my mom is going to be here, and then my cat and his boyfriend, and possibly my father and brother, and then my boyfriend will also be there. Avid volunteer and an advocate for music education. Uh, she was president of PIEA, which is the whole state, the Music Educators Association of the whole state. Um, and she has done a phenomenal job with our ladies today, um, so we're really happy to have her here. And her accompanist tonight is Mrs. Jacqueline Keen, who is, um, accompanies a lot in this county, and we're really grateful for her. She's a wonderful musician as well. So uh, as they come on, please enjoy the Travel Choir. Kurt Besser was a Mormon missionary in Bosnia back in the 1970s, um, long before um, any of the strife in that area of the world. Um, and he was a missionary there in the late 70s, I think 77 through about 80, and uh, worked in the hospitals. Obviously, um, you know, we didn't um, spread, you know, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the saints. And um, when he came home about 10 years later, uh, in the early 90s, uh, the, the dictator regime of Tito fell, and it started this whole civil war of, um, between Bosnians and Serbs. And um, you know, through that, you know, obviously, it, you know, a lot of the people that were dying in that war were friends of Vesters that he had known you know, for almost 30 years. Uh, so when he heard that, he was, it, the thought that kept ruminating in his mind was the children that were the collateral damage in that war. And he wrote this next piece called Prayer of the Children uh, in honor of those, those children who, you know, you hear it, can you feel the voice of the children aching for home? Uh, can, you, can you see, you know, crying, Jesus help me, you know, to see the sun again, because, you know, they're in the bunkers, you know, waiting for, you know, to do a little bombing. So this is very poignant, especially this time in society with the war in Ukraine, um, war in, Israel with a lot of children being caught in that crossfire as well. One of the things that um, Bester, or, uh, Kurt Bester recommended was to change the last set of lyrics. It was originally in Serbia, uh, where you can have it and recommended to change it to Ukrainian. So the last little bit um, here, it's, um, it's, it's, can you hear the prayer of the children in Ukraine? You'll hear that in there. So this is the bass choir and prayer of the children. <laughs> 